enlighten and entertain divas and those that love us. Hi, and welcome to the Devolution Show. It's already mid-November. I just, I, my mind is having such a hard time understanding how this year went by so quickly. It just, I just can't get over it. It's going to be 2018 before you know it. So let's make the most of what we have left of 2017. Did you do everything that you thought you were going to do? Did you set your intentions on something and not do it yet. You still have a month and a half left. So don't give up. Keep trying. With us on the phone today from Texas, we have a, a wonderful person. Um, I, I, I just feel so honored that she chooses to spend time with us every now and then because she's not only fun and lively, but she has some really good advice, and she's very smart. Dr. Michelle Joy Brown, welcome to the Devolution Show. Hola. Hello, everyone. Hello, my dear friend. How are you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, when you mentioned fun, I'm like, you know, I'm sitting here. It's noisy out here. I'm hoping that you're not picking up a lot of noise because it is noisy out here. Um, but I'm having fun I, i'm great <laughs> good so where where are you what are you doing i have been invited to um an event with some millennials and um so i think i'm about like eight minutes from there but i had to pull over <laughs> <laughs> because i said you know i didn't want to miss being on today oh, so i'm kind of like in between trying to do two different things <laughs> and um and just, you know, really having fun and enjoying life and doing a lot of networking out here in Texas and, you know, just having fun. Very good. So the last time we talked, you were in the process of rebranding. And, um, yes. And I notice on your Facebook page, it's all your favorite colors now. Yes. And it's just beautiful. Really, really nice. So how? Thank you. tell me what the purpose of that was and what you want to accomplish differently now. Well, I'd love to share that. What was going on with me at the time was that, you know, I had moved to a new state. And, you know, back in Michigan, you know, I was a psychotherapist there. I was doing speaking. Um, I was teaching. And when I moved to Texas, I kind of, misplaced my identity <laughs> and it's, you know my husband walked into a job and then I got here and it's like well you know I think I'll do hashtag permanent vacation for a while <laughs> yes that's always nice and um, so I had to find myself again and reinvent myself and I have been having so much fun um, just playing around with a lot of different things. And so when I finally decided upon something, I flew out to Hollywood and took some, um, I did a photo shoot. It was fabulous. Um, and I certainly felt like a VIP out there, you know, so I picked some colors <laughs> that I wanted. And the fuchsia color that everyone sees on all of my social media, I absolutely love. Mm. And um, and then, you know, a lot of my business, um, you know, like books and things like that, I'm using black and red. But um, the purpose of me doing that was for me to stand out a little bit more and so that people would know that I'm here. I'm not a hidden secret anymore. Um, and so I've just been, you know, doing a lot of uh, speaking and meeting people and going to a lot of different uh, women's events out here talking about confidence and finding joy and how to let go of things and and all of those things. That's what I'm all about is finding joy and really walking in your confidence and who you are. And um, so I consider myself being the confidence queen. <laughs> I love it. Boy, and it shows, too. You, you seem like a very confident person. What do you attribute that confidence to? You know, I'm... Um, writing a book right now. I'm almost finished. And uh, a lot of it, the book is actually on confidence, building your confidence in uh, 30 days or less. And I attribute that to so many different things that it definitely takes a book to talk about it. Um, <laughs> but I will say this, 
that there was a time, and I know a lot of my students and a lot of my clients don't believe this because they didn't believe it when I told them, but I used to be so quiet and so shy and scared of people, and I was afraid of my own shadow, and now I scare other people's shadows away. <laughs> <laughs> and your shadow has a hard time keeping up with you. <laughs> yes, it does. But, I, you know, I got tired of not... I got tired of feeling like I didn't have a voice. And, you know, and so I figured out a few different ways on how to make myself get out of that shell that I was in because, believe it or not, girlfriend, I am an introvert. And most people that know me <laughs> don't believe it. But I am an introvert <laughs> who acts like an extrovert. <laughs> well, good job. You know, and that's, I think that's true with a lot of us. Like, I. Without my alone time and my introspective yes. time, I'm I, I'm different when I don't get yes. that. Yeah. Yes. So is that is that kind of how you are as oh, well? Yes. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Like you know, even today, it's like oh, I just rather just you know stay home mm-hmm. and in my jammies. Read a book, right. just relax. It's like, nope, you can't do that. You got to get out. You got to get up. You got to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Although those jammy days, we used to call them jammy days when my kids were little. We used to just mm-hmm. cherish those. In fact, I still do. And I bet you have one every now and then, don't you? I certainly do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're priceless, really, at this time in our lives. So, um, so you rebranded, and uh, are more people finding you in Texas now? Or are you? Are you? Oh yeah, yeah. they're they're finding me all right. Yes, <laughs> but and I bet you they're real happy when they find you too, aren't they? Yes, yeah. I, I'm having a lot of fun uh, meeting people, and um, you know, there's so many opportunities out here, and you know, I'm just going to roll them all over like a bowl, you know, with a bowling ball <laughs> and the pins. I'm just going to roll them all down. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> Watch out, Texas. So you have, um, the last time we spoke, you were also talking about launching a new program. And tell us how that is going and what it's all about. Well, I am. I have one program that I actually have on my website now. But I'm also getting more into doing coaching because the people keep asking me. It's so funny because, you know, I'm doing more speaking. But people keep asking, you know, why are you doing coaching? It's like, oh, i got to put together a coaching program. So my coaching program, um, I'm working on it, so it should be up within the next couple of days. But I do have uh, what I call a courage, risk, and rewards program that I do have up. Very cheap. It's only $97. Wow. And, um, and basically what that program is for is to help people, men and women, um, but to help people to – really step into their courage, learning how, number one, learning how to say no when you need to say no. Mm-hmm. And then also knowing when to say yes, you know. Also learning how to take risk for yourself because a lot of times I run into people, I don't have the money. I, You know, I need to write a book called I Don't Have the Money. Right. I'm so sick and tired of hearing people, I don't have the money, I don't have the money. It's only 90 bucks. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> You know, and I know I like to eat, and I eat more than ninety dollars in food a month. Okay, <laughs> uh, and that's food that's not in the house. This is restaurant stuff. <laughs> you know, and so eventually I'm going to deal with that—the money mindset and confidence. You know, because a lot of people don't have the confidence in themselves to even invest in themselves. Right. When you're paying, you know, so, um, I know there are a lot of coaches that charge a lot of money out there. You know, I understand it. When someone tells you they're going to charge you $5,000 for a program, that's a lot for most people. Mm-hmm. You know, but the thing is, is that when you are giving someone or paying someone for a quote, you have to change your mindset and see it as investing in yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, when I went to school, I didn't think of, oh, my God, I'm going to have to pay $60,000, $70,000, $80,000. I thought the whole time that I was investing in me, my future, and my family's future, you know, and it was helping me to better myself so that I could be even more amazing. Well, it worked. (laughs) (laughs) You know, and that's so true. I know I I love when I have a coach. I haven't had one for a while now, but uh, when, when I do have a coach, just having somebody to be accountable to kind of yes, changes yes. how you think about things. 
If you say yes. you're going to do yes. something, you use, I can put stuff off. I'm a procrastinator and it's okay. I've come to grips with it. But if <laughs> I, if I am being coached and I have to have that done by Friday, I have that done by Friday. Right. And that, you know, the, the great thing, you know, one of the things I love, you know, kind of switching back and forth between doing psychotherapy and coaching. What I love about the coaching is that for me, I t- typically have a lot more fun. Mm-hmm. You know, and there, are, I know when I had my coach and my mentor, you know, she was able to shed light on things that even I hadn't seen yet. Right. And and so what happened is I had a lot of aha moments, and it was awesome because that's you know that was all a part of my branding. You know, so we sat down together. You know, there must be there must be a horrible accident around here. I I'm hear sorry. that. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Wow. Anyway, so we were sitting together and we did a VIP day, which I'm going to start doing VIP days. Right, and I have some fun stuff in store for VIP days, Mm -hmm. um, where people can come here and spend the day with me, and we will work. And I, my, you know, I, I had an assistant back in Michigan, and love her. And uh, hi, Alicia, you better be listening. (laughs) And. and I remember one time my husband walked in the house, and it was probably about, like, 9 o'clock at night. And he said, uh, have you fed the woman? And I was like, oh, my God, I am so sorry. <laughs> I didn't even feed her. <laughs> what, I, what I'm saying is that we are going to work hard, you know, for anyone that comes out with me. I'm also setting up, um, I just uh, talked today to a photographer because I like to do photo shoots also with my clients. Mm. And... Um, you know, because I feel that, you know, when you feel good on the inside and outside, oh, my God, the world can't stop you from doing anything. Right. You know, you you can do anything when you feel good and you know you look your best. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Um, we I have a, an event that I do every other year called A New View of You. Oh, yes, I like that. And I have a couple of speakers come last time. I had last year, not this past, not 2017, but 2016, we had three speakers, a makeup artist, and a photographer. Oh, that sounds wonderful. It really was splendid, yep. So I, and that's it, those ladies, those pictures that she took at the end of the day after we went through all these empowerment talks and and some people cried and we laughed and we just had a great time. But at the end of the day, those those pictures were i i saw a whole different side of people that i'd known for years and it was just so fun so you're absolutely oh, right yeah. yeah it changes yes. you yes yes so um what what is your website uh it's my name michellejoybrown.com okay i'm going to post that when i post this so uh give us a little taste of some some of the things in that coaching program for $97. Now that is, you know, you can go on, if you go online and sign up for it, what's going to happen is it's automated. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I finally got it automated. <laughs> and, um, and so what I did is there are a lot of assignments in there for you to do. You can do them every day. You can do them once a week. It's a, it's built on an as you want to work on it basis. You know, oh. so it can take you a week to do it or it can take you a couple of months to do it. It doesn't matter how you decide to do it. But one of the things that I do with it is I'm also engaged with you, you know. And so I will email you because I'll have that information and I'll email you to check on you and all that. Um, I will also be including some video snippets that I'll be putting together. And, um, and we'll just be having fun building you up and helping you to feel more confident in yourself and helping you to learn how to take healthy risks and how to have the courage to even step out and do what it is that people say that they want to do. You know, there's so many people that say that, you know, I have a dream to do this, I have a dream to do that, but they don't know what to do or how to do it. And that's why coaching is so important because you have people that are coaches, and I'm not saying all of them now, but you have people that are coaches that have been there, done that. Mm-hmm. You know, they've been there, they've had the dreams, they sat on those dreams and, you know, and they've been there again and they sat again because they did not know what to do. And if you don't know what to do, then you'll keep sitting 